welcome back <laughs> that was a terrible start uh, welcome back to my channel I haven't been over here in a very long time it feels really weird to have my vlog camera in front of me I've got a really impromptu video today so impromptu that I'm actually still in my gym gear I haven't showered today I just got home from the gym and I had this idea to share what's in our fridge right now it's one week less than a week to the wedding now and I just thought it'd be kind of fun to share what's in our fridge what we're eating leading up to the wedding what we've changed um yeah, I don't know. My fridge is full right now and I'm, it makes me really happy when my fridge is full and organized with lots of good stuff. I'm feeling really motivated having come from the, just come home from the gym right now, so I'm happy with my fridge situation, so I thought I would share it. Is that weird? I don't know. Maybe someone will watch. Maybe it'll just be fun to look back on how healthy we were eating before the wedding, before our habits changed back to our old pasta and beer ways. So anyways, kitchen's behind me here. It's a tiny little heritage style kitchen and basically it just fits the two of us standing in there, but we love it, it's really cute and it's white. Uh, so let's go see what's in the fridge. <laughs> okay, welcome to my kitchen, my tiny little heritage kitchen. You're basically sitting on top of the sink and this is the entire kitchen. Got our fridge here, a little coffee maker, some counter space, and then stove, and then here is just the sink. So it is indeed tiny. So in this video, I'm basically just gonna be going through Basically just the fridge stuff, because that's where we're eating from mainly now. It's a lot of fruits and veg and frozen proteins and stuff. So we'll go through both freezer and fridge, and then I'll leave the pantry stuff for maybe another time or answer questions, I don't know. There's not really much interesting stuff in there right now, because we're not, we're not really reaching at our pantry very much, because we keep a lot of snacky kind of stuff there and quick stuff, so we're trying not to do that very much. I might touch on a few things if there's anything important in there that I can think of, but for the most part, we are going to be right in here, so let's see. And just a little disclaimer, <laughs> I have not, like I said, this is very impromptu, I haven't cleaned or prepped or organized very well. So normally if people are coming over, I would get rid of all this clutter on the counter space and have flowers and that kind of thing, so it doesn't look all that pleasing to the eye and like all this stuff. Clutter, hey clutter. Um, but I'm just randomly showing you what is in my fridge here. So if you see dirt and you see mess, don't judge. I'm just a normal, somewhat messy person. <laughs> but those are pretty clean, but there's still some dirt in our house. <laughs> okay, so going inside here, lots of stuff right now. Um, I guess I'll start at the bottom here because this, these HelloFresh meals are what make up a lot of what we eat right now. If you haven't heard of HelloFresh, we started doing it in London just because it's super, super easy. And now that we're back here in Vancouver, they recently started up within the last year, not long after we moved back actually. And they basically supply you, th supply you with three meals a week. And you can get them for like family size and whatnot. Um, three ready to go meals. You just have to cook it. They're all 30 minute beginner style meals, different things every week. It's all organic, locally sourced. Um, these ones are shipped from Toronto, so sometimes we will get like an off pepper or something like that. They don't actually make them here in Vancouver, but it's a really awesome, awesome program. Ken makes those for us three days a week, and then I usually take care of the rest of the shopping and filler meals, and then we're usually out one day a week, sometimes two, although we're trying to hold back on that right now. So we have one of those left, um, and then this was from a previous meal that we kind of dismantled a little bit. I saved the zucchini and then I ate the rest of the meal, so we'll use that at some point. I like just cooking it in just like some, in a pan with just some salt and pepper. Um, and then I've been trying to eat lots of fruit, I love fruit. We all both have huge sweet teeth, so fruit is kind of my go-to thing. Ken, not so much. He just, when he's off the sugar, he just avoids it at all costs. We've got two cucumbers. I usually chop them in half, and then I just take half, or I take half of that to work with me, and that's kind of like my afternoon crunchy snack. Lots of salad, obviously. We've got another bag of spinach. Ken prefers this stuff the spinach he uses it in a lot of smoothies and then he also uses it in salads and then if i'm making like quinoa rice or a soup or something like that i'll often throw it down throw it in in that because it wilts down to nothing and you can get lots of green in that way these have been my go-to breakfast at work for the longest time just because they're super super easy to 
pack. They keep forever in the fridge and I can eat them really quick at work. Sometimes I don't know if I'm going to be scrubbed for my whole shift. So if I'm able to quickly get this into my stomach and maybe a few bites of something else or a boiled egg, then I am still standing at the end of my shift. Ken prefers something Greek, high in protein. I am lactose sensitive. I don't say lactose intolerant anymore because I can have some milk and cheese and that kind of stuff. Yogurt and ice cream, definitely I cannot eat. So these are the Activia lactose free ones and we get him, sometimes we'll get him the Greek ones, but he, he likes these lactose free ones as well. They don't taste any different from the regular stuff. This is a new one this week. Usually I get the sugar free stuff. My mom buys it for me in the States, but we haven't been down in a while as we've been very busy with the wedding. So I picked this one up. It's Southern Buttercream Coffee Creamer. 35 calories per 15 mils. 6 grams of sugar. I use probably less than 15 mils. It's kind of like a little... It makes my coffee feel like a dessert. So um, I don't feel guilty about having that. I give myself that. <laughs> Then we've got two Gatorades in here. I keep pointing this way down. Um, two Gatorades in here from, that might've been two weekends ago when we, we'd been out with friends and we were trying to pre-hydrate a little bit before we went out. Oh, that was Canada Day. We were trying to hydrate before the big Canada Day festivities. On the second shelf, we don't have anything in our vegetable drawer because this place is so tiny that this cupboard literally doesn't open or the door of the fridge doesn't open all the way. So we can't get into it. So that's kind of just dead space down there. <laughs> Over here we've got, we ordered sushi last night, so I'll munch on that. It's a good post-gym, carby treat kind of snack. Um, and then we've got some proteins, we've got some salami. That's definitely another treat thing because it's loaded with sodium, obviously, but very satisfying. And then we've got some peppercorn spice turkey breast roasted season meat protein. We will just eat this just as is. I usually put some of this on a plate, I'll chop up some cucumber, have some carrots and hummus, and that's kind of like a makeshift lunch for me. Uh, next up we've got baby cut carrots. Again, I take a bunch of these to work and that's just kind of a quick, easy, crunchy, healthy snack. Love hummus. This is the Sabra hummus, supremely spicy. We both love a little spice in our food, so I haven't even opened that yet. But if I take this to work, I just take the whole thing in my lunch bag and then I'll take some carrots or if we have crackers or something, I'll, I'll sometimes splurge and have some crackers with it. Large eggs. Uh, I love boiled eggs at work. Ken loves them scrambled. On the weekend, I'll have them scrambled with a little bit of cheese. Yeah, good staple, good protein. My wine's back there. This one is, I was in the Okanagan not long ago. Wild Goose Riesling 2016. Very, very good, but we are trying to behave with the alcohol consumption, because obviously it's very fattening. And then these, Ken would shudder seeing these in her fridge, but I love this kind of thing. I'm not a huge fan of traditional hot dogs or hamburgers or anything like that. So I like the veggie version of things. <laughs> so this is a spicy Italian veggie, veggie sausage. I just like to butterfly this kind of thing, chop it up, I'll put it on top of a salad, or I'll just have it as is, no bun or anything. It's just good, good protein. Fills you up, tasty, can't go wrong. Cheese, we just get the little tiny baby ones because we don't go through that much cheese. Like I said, we'll put it in our eggs or sometimes on top of a salad. If I'm really starving, I'll just have a few pieces with some crackers as like a treat kind of snack. But if we have tons of cheese, we will eat it, but we try not to. <laughs> so we just get the little one and use it sparingly. This is a brand new ketchup that Ken got just the other day. Tomato ketchup, he insisted on getting the organic. He says it tastes way better than the regular. Um, and then I've got my healthy Almonds, half the fat mayo in there. I often will use um, Greek yogurt in place of this and I'll mix it up with a can of tuna and I'll have that with a few crackers or on top of a salad, something like that. This is just an old two liter bottle of diet tonic water. I'm a big fan of the gin and tonics, but I haven't been having them much, obviously, trying to pave in that department. So this is probably flat and needs to go, actually. Look, I'm just gonna take that out of there. Way in the back, we've got some really old Parmesan cheese. I'm actually afraid to look at that. An old dressing that we bought when we first moved in here and haven't touched. Same with that one, I guess we didn't like them. A couple other <laughs> rejects over there. Uh, Ken was sick a couple weeks ago with the uh, man cold, the dreaded man cold. So we got him these Canada Dry, yeah, Canada Dry ginger ale. Just the little mini ones to help 
help him feel a little better. I was trying to take care of him, be a good wife to be. And this is a staple for me. I know I said I'm lactose sensitive, so it probably doesn't make sense that I can eat cottage cheese, but for whatever reason, it must be a different form of um, lactose that is in yogurt versus cottage cheese and some other dairy products, but I love this stuff. This I will eat before I go to the gym. I'll eat it in the morning. I'll eat it in the afternoon snack. Just plain, nothing in it, just a few scoops of this and I am good to go to the gym. Sometimes, like this morning, I had probably a few ounces of this and one of these peaches before I went to the gym. And now I'm shaking again, obviously. I've been at the gym and I need some food in me. But we go through probably one of these a week. Ken does not eat it. He thinks it's really gross, but I love it. And then we just have some chilled water there. I don't know why we have that because we actually have a Brita filter here. It's a little mini one, but we love it. Um, our water here in Vancouver is actually really awesome, but I just prefer the filtered. It just makes it a little less thick tasting. And I'm not, a, I'm terrible with water consumption, so if it, the better you can make it taste, the more likely I am to drink it. Ken is a huge drinker of milk, but obviously I cannot drink that. I can have a little in my milk, but, or in my coffee, but I always prefer to go with this. Mustard, another staple. The old ketchup, the tail end of the old ketchup. My ginger, or um, not ginger, diet tonic waters that I use for my gin and tonics. We've got some old pesto in here, which we're obviously not touching right now. Pesto is insane calories. Two tablespoons are 170 calories. So that is not on the list. Oh, now I'm all greasy. Just from touching it. And another mustard. And then we have lemon and lime. I often will add that to my water just to try to get a little extra in me. And also for my gin and tonics, I will use that. The Hello Fresh meals always come with lemons and limes, so we've always got half, half sizes of real lemon and lime there. Another classic staple for us, as the commercial says, you just gotta put that stuff on everything. Um, but this stuff is delicious. It has like a vinegary taste to it. It's not too spicy. Yeah, tons of flavor. I love adding this to like soups. We put it on eggs. Um, I'll put it on like rice crackers even, just to give it a little extra kick. And then all our extra soy sauces from our sushi last night. <laughs> Obviously not touching the butter and the margarine. <laughs> Gosh, this could be longer than I thought. Okay, quickly, moving into the freezer. These are only here because Ken was sick and his throat was on fire, so we bought him those. He is slowly eating them still, but that's his treat. Frozen fruit, um, espresso, you're supposed to keep in the fridge. Old bread that we use for like, we can use it for like stuffing or something, but we haven't used it in a very long time. Um, up here we have one of our meats that we froze from our Hello Fresh meal that we didn't use, we froze it. Another quick and easy protein, the portioned salmon. These ones are marinated and they're single wrapped, so you can just quickly warm those up for easy protein. Bunch of other proteins that we haven't been touching lately. Hash browns that we aren't touching, ice cubes. This is another another one of my treats that I have. I used to do this years ago, and I don't know, when we went to London, I stopped doing it, but I have back on the frozen grape train. I just pluck all of them, wash them off, make sure they end up pretty dry before you throw them in, otherwise you end up with chunky grapes like that where they've got like little icicles on them. <laughs> so I try to get them pretty darn dry, and then you just throw them in the freezer. Um, we've got a couple of frozen meals here, which are kind of my emergency for lunch snack or uh, lunches for work. Um, I don't take them that often. I try to pack real food, but if we've really got nothing in the fridge, then I'll go with that because cafeteria food sucks. And then these are just some gyoza. This is kind of like a Sunday hangover meal. We're obviously not touching those right now either. And then down below we have a ton of frozen fruit. I've got cherries, mango, oh, <laughs> forgot I had this in there. I hid this from Ken and I accidentally hid it on myself. So this is lactose free salty caramel, obviously not good for you, but one scoop isn't gonna heal, kill me. Frozen blueberries, more chicken, frozen bananas that we use in smoothies. I always throw just random berries, half a frozen banana and protein powder. And that's quick, easy, delicious smoothie. That is what I throw in with the banana. We've got one frozen pizza. And these are my little, like, 
late night snack, popsicles. Um, I can't eat a lot of popsicles out there, obviously, because I am lactose intolerant, as I've said a million times. So I basically just make a simple chocolate frozen smoothie that tastes just like a Wendy's Frosty, and then I put it into these little into these little popsicle holders, and they freeze perfectly, and they are delicious little late night chocolatey snack. And then for Ken, I also bought him these tubed yogurts, and we freeze them, and then they're kind of ice creamy in a sense. What else was I going to add? That's basically all that we have in our fridge right now. That makes up a lot of our lunches, dinners, and our breakfasts. Ken will often eat raisin bran in the morning with a splash of milk, or we use protein. We have this is the one we always, always buy because it is from Superstore and it's dirt cheap. And I often have trouble with some proteins because they can have some form of lactose in them. This one doesn't seem to bother me. We have it in both the chocolate and the vanilla, and it tastes delicious. It's 25 grams of protein per 35 grams. It's low sugar, all that good stuff that you want in a protein, and it costs next to nothing, so it's like a super cheap meal. What else? The only thing that's really worth showing in the pantry is maybe these little canned <laughs> little canned tuna, the flavored ones. These, I always get the spicy Thai chili, and I'll put it with like a few crackers, or I'll eat it just on top of a salad. Good way to get a little bit of protein. It probably has a fair amount of sodium in it. Yes, it does. 160 calories, 15 grams of protein, but it's really tasty, so it feels like you're kind of cheating and it's not that terrible for you. Um, and then our other favorite, favorite snack right now, we go through at least a bag of this a week, is our veggie straws. I mentioned it in one of my haul videos a while back, and I don't know if they're really that healthy for you, but it tastes like you're eating a whole bunch of chips and you can eat a ton of them for like 170 calories. So and they're super salty. So if you like salt, give those a shot. You can get them at Costco too in the huge, huge bags. And then the last thing is our quinoa, awesome source of protein. This is just the Compliments organic one, cooks up like rice. You do one cup of this, two cups of water, and then I just mix in a ton of veggies. You can add in like some um, chicken stock to give it more flavor. We put tons of onion and garlic in. I cook it in with um, some sesame oil and then I put soy sauce on top to give it lots of flavor. But yeah, go to staple. And then in terms of sweet stuff, we're trying not to cheat too much. Ken's actually been really good. Um, at my bridal shower the other day, he did eat like five cookies and cake pop, but one little slip. You know, get back, get back on that wagon. Um, but I bought these. They're obviously, uh, they're f like condensed fruit, so they're loaded with sugar. But if you just have a few of them, it'll get rid of that little bit of a sweet tooth, and it's not going to kill you. There's real fruit in it. It's not like eating just plain old candy. So, okay, I think I've jabbered on long enough. I don't know why that took me so long to get all that out. But anyways, thank you for joining me in my kitchen. Um, that's what I've been eating. What we've been eating we're trying to do good we've got how many days today's monday we get married on saturday so we're on like the final stretch here trying to work on the muscles <laughs> yeah wish me luck i'll be a married woman probably the next time you see me on here actually for sure because i don't think i'm gonna have time to make another video before then so i will see you in married life bye from bad ideas and yesterday was boring so let's end in tears time waits for no man so we won't wait for time